Have you ever wondered what happens when minor errors occur during the most critical moments in space exploration? Well, let me tell you a story that will illustrate how precarious and unpredictable space exploration can be. It's the story of the Apollo 12 mission and how a tiny error during its launch sequence led to an unexpected journey for the Saturn V third stage rocket. On November 14, 1969, Apollo 12 was the second human crewed mission to land on the moon successfully. The mission was a triumph of human ingenuity and marked an incredible milestone in space exploration. However, many people don't know that during the launch sequence, a minor electrical disturbance would have unforeseen consequences lasting over three decades. In this video, we'll explore how a tiny error during the launch sequence of the Apollo 12 mission caused the Saturn V rocket to embark on an unexpected 30-year journey through space before mysteriously reappearing around Earth. We'll delve into what happened, what it means for space exploration, and what we can learn from this remarkable story. So grab a seat and let's journey through space and time to discover the incredible tale of the Saturn V rocket that took an unexpected trip through the cosmos. The Saturn V rocket was a massive and complex vehicle with three main stages, each crucial in propelling the rocket into space. The first stage, known as the S1C stage, was the largest and most powerful, standing over 42 meters tall, roughly the equivalent of a 14-story building. It was responsible for propelling the rocket through the dense lower atmosphere. Once the S1C stage had expended its fuel, it was discarded, and the second stage, the S2 stage, took over. The S2 stage stood over 24 meters tall. It continued the rocket's ascent to an altitude of about 185 kilometers before it was also jettisoned. After the S2 stage had completed its burn, it was scrapped, and the third and final stage, known as the S4B stage, started. The third stage was powered by a single J-2 engine and was responsible for placing the spacecraft into orbit around the Earth. After the S-4B stage had completed its burn and had propelled the spacecraft towards the Moon, it was typically dumped and left to drift off in space. However, as we'll see, the S-4B stage from the Apollo 12 mission had a much more exciting fate than most. The error was caused by a lightning strike about 36 seconds after liftoff. The lightning strike sent an electrical discharge through the Saturn V rocket, causing a momentary power surge that affected several onboard systems. One of the systems affected was the spacecraft's fuel cells, which shut down as a safety measure. This caused the spacecraft's guidance system to switch to a backup system, which was not programmed to account for the slight oscillations that occurred during the launch. The oscillations were caused by the dynamic interaction between the Saturn V rocket and the atmosphere as it ascended into space. These oscillations were a normal part of the launch sequence, and the guidance system was designed to compensate for them. However, the backup system did not have this capability, and as a result, it caused the rocket to deviate from its intended trajectory by about 30 degrees. The astronauts aboard the spacecraft did not immediately notice this deviation as they were still in the early stages of the launch and were focused on other tasks. It wasn't until later in the mission that they realized that the spacecraft was not on the intended trajectory. Fortunately, the astronauts were able to make the necessary adjustments to the spacecraft's trajectory and successfully land on the moon. However, the deviation caused by the electrical disturbance had unexpected consequences that would not be fully realized until three decades later when the Saturn V third stage rocket mysteriously reappeared near Earth after a 30-year trip through space. The consequence of the tiny error in the Apollo 12 mission significantly impacted the trajectory of the Saturn V third stage rocket. The rocket was supposed to be directed into a trajectory that would take it away from Earth and into a stable orbit around the Sun. However, the rocket was not on the correct trajectory due to the slight deviation caused by the electrical disturbance during the launch sequence. Instead, the rocket was propelled into a highly elliptical orbit around the Sun, taking it far beyond the Moon's orbit and into deep space. The rocket continued on this orbit for over 30 years, completing over one and a half orbits around the Sun before mysteriously reappearing near Earth. The consequences of this trajectory were significant as it meant that the Saturn V third stage rocket was not being used as intended. Instead of being directed into a stable orbit around the Sun, it drifted into space for decades. 
This had implications for future space missions, as the rocket could have potentially collided with other objects in space, causing damage to spacecraft or equipment. Additionally, the mysterious reappearance of the rocket near Earth in 2002 sparked interest among astronomers and space enthusiasts. It raised questions about the rocket's survival in the harsh conditions of space, and its sudden reappearance near Earth was a mystery that remained unsolved for many years. This unusual occurrence can be explained by Lagrange Point 1, a point in space where the Earth's and the Sun's gravitational pull is balanced, creating a stable environment. Lagrange Point 1, also known as L1, is located approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth in the direction of the Sun. It is a crucial point in space exploration because objects placed at L1 can remain stable relative to the Earth and the Sun without needing constant propulsion. In the case of the Saturn V third stage rocket, its elliptical orbit eventually brought it close enough to the Earth that it was captured by its gravitational pull, bringing it back into our planet's orbit. The Lagrange Point 1 has been used in many space missions, including the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, and the James Webb Space Telescope, on which we have a separate video detailing its power and contribution to humanity. Make sure to check it out. These missions take advantage of the stability provided by L1 to observe and study the Sun and other celestial bodies. The mystery surrounding the Saturn V third stage rocket from the Apollo 12 mission lies in the fact that it survived in space for over 30 years and suddenly reappeared near Earth. We can explore a few different aspects of this mystery further. Firstly, it's worth noting that the Saturn V third stage rocket was not designed to remain in space for an extended period of time. After it had propelled the Apollo 12 spacecraft towards the moon, it was supposed to be directed into a trajectory that would take it away from Earth and into a stable orbit around the Sun. The fact that it was able to survive in space for over 30 years suggests that it may be more resilient than initially thought. One possible explanation for how the rocket survived for so long is that it was a relatively stable orbit that allowed it to avoid collisions with other objects in space. However, this still doesn't explain why it suddenly reappeared near Earth. Some have speculated that the rocket may have been nudged off course by a passing object, but no definitive evidence supports this theory. Another aspect of the mystery surrounding the Saturn V third stage rocket is why it suddenly reappeared near Earth. After completing over one and a half orbits around the Sun, it should have continued its trajectory away from Earth. Some have suggested that gravitational forces from the Moon or other celestial bodies may have caused the rocket to alter its course. Still, again, there is no concrete evidence to support this theory. The mystery of the Saturn V third stage rocket from the Apollo 12 mission will likely persist for some time but it serves as a reminder of the many unknowns that still exist in the vast expanse of space.